Hi, I'm Peter Manson. I've had 30 years experience with working with farmers on steep hill country, and in particular looking at how to plant trees to control erosion on their, on their farms. Today I'd like to talk to you about how to place your poles for best effect for erosion control in gullies on the steeper erosion faces and between the north and south aspects and how they may differ for how you place your poles. Here we are on the Wairarapa and right behind me is a hill country face. It is a south facing slope. The lower part of it is easy rolling. You can see gullies moving up through the face and at the very top there's definitely some erosion occurring. So what we want to achieve here is soil conservation so that we can give uh, good protection to the farmer's soil which is his main engine to run his farm and we're wanting to reduce the amount of sediment coming down the waterways as well. So to do that you can see that he's already made a good start on his pole planting. His next step will be to plant further up the slope and you can see that some of those areas still need to be planted. Fortunately, being south facing, there's a good moisture regime in the soil and he can go quite high up the slope for good effect. Behind me is a low angle slope that might look innocuous enough, but in fact, if you look closely, you'll see that there's a slip. So that slip has come from an area which is very highly productive farmland and we want to protect that for the long term for productive use. So we can plant that at a very wide spacing which doesn't affect the pasture growth, but can still give us protection for farm production. In contrast, this is the north face behind me, and it's much steeper, drier, and with more severe erosion. So one of the key things we have to remember here is firstly that we have to plant more hardier varieties, and secondly, we can't plant as far up the slope as we could on that south face. When we're talking about pole spacing, it's easy to remember that the worse the erosion, the tighter the spacing. So for that north face we looked at, we would probably plant around about 8 to 10 metres apart. On the south facing areas, where this, the erosion is not quite so bad and you've got more moisture, they can be 12 to 15 metres apart. And on that uneroded face where there's some potential for erosion, they can be up to 20 metres apart. There's a simple difference between poplars and willows. Poplars are much better for hill country planting because they have a single main stem and they're a better formed tree than willows. So therefore they will live longer and do the job better long term. Willows on the other hand have a very fibrous root system that binds together and protects gullies from scouring and heavy rain conditions. Choosing between planting poplars and willows and where you plant them will depend on what your objectives are. It could be erosion control, it could be a combination of that with fodder or shelter and shade. So a number of things come into play to make that decision. So what I suggest is you get hold of your regional council staff early in the piece, get a farm plan done and talk about what your objectives are and what you want to achieve.